Hey, 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 you gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic, sweet, loving, humble, kind, caring, twin flames. What's going on with you? What have we got here? Why have we got this sadness here? This is, and I don't mean any disrespect to anyone who's feeling sad, but this is like the iced coffee guy in Australia. In Australia, we have what's called, the brand is a farmer's union iced coffee. And this guy is crying over all the milk that he spilt. All right. So you know how you can have iced coffee in a carton and drink it. This guy is not happy Jan <laughs> from another advert in Australia. Have you ever heard that saying? Not happy Jan. So I want to delve into what's going on here with the twin flames because there is a massive shift coming in the energy and I don't know if you can feel it but it kind of feels like a volcano bubbling 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 and it's going to explode in this happy ever after if you're on board if you're on the train if you understand how to tap into it okay many of you are staying in your mind space which is where the ego resides and then you're kind of pushing the heart space and the soul away and this is the issue that we've got here going on all right so let me just take a look divine feminine i want to do you i was going to just do a divine masculine speaks but i think that i'm going to do a divine masculine and divine feminine speaks today because divine feminine you're really missing the physical touch the physical application of your divine mas masculine and yesterday the energy oh it's actually not yesterday i haven't posted the video yet but in the video I, i'm also going to post today there's two videos um <laughs> double trouble today but there's this feeling of <laughs> am i allowed to say penis right in the air right <laughs> this this feeling of uh a potential a potential of penis in the air that's how i'm gonna put it and hopefully you're already laughing by now opening up that heart chakra of yours that's being closed off divine feminine we need to laugh we need to giggle i want you to put on some tunes you know listen to some stuff that makes you be able to dance perhaps or sing or get any of that stuckness out of you you know how singers like really good singers always seem to look so fantastic well there's a reason for that and it's because they're literally singing out all of their energy so this might be a reminder you know even if you're not a great singer and you don't want anyone to hear you you know you could still put it on in the car you know the radio on in the car you can still sing in the shower you can still sing in the bathroom while you're going to the toilet if you really want to but just sing it out or dance it out let that be a, a little reminder physical touch is a huge issue on the twin flame journey for twin flames in fact because the divine feminine and the divine masculine really need to feel you know the physical person they really want to feel touched they really want to be kissed and loved and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that this little card for divine feminine is an extra card in the deck this is her in her imaginary or you know moments imaginative moments i'm making up words as i go imaginary is not a word her, you know what i mean when she's meditating when she's praying when she's thinking about her divine masculine she's seeing this scenario here so this is great news keep doing that keep uh living you know as if it's already happening okay there is this 
you know, pool of purpleness here, which for me today is reminding us that there is still this toxicity. There's still this little belief in the back of our minds. Remember, the subconscious mind is back here, always taking little snapshots. Sometimes it's not believing that it's possible. I want you to ignore, ignore any idea that this may not come. I want you to stop being sad if you've been sad and I want you to come out of that and say it's already done okay I want you to act like your divine masculine is sitting right next to you maybe don't talk to him if he's not really there at lunchtime on your break because your boss might think you're a bit strange you know what I mean though stop hanging around literally hanging around and feeling blue notice the blue on his shirt divine feminine you're feeling blue all right look what's behind you the twin flame journey is behind you stop worrying about what's been done what's in the past what might not happen stop thinking about the what-ifs stop thinking about the you know uh, in the past he never or he's not going to or you know any of those things get all of that out of your mind this video that I'm doing right now if you're listening to me is going to transform you this is part of your transformation if you've clicked onto this video right now divine feminine this is part of your transformation the universe is trying to get your attention okay I'm trying to get your attention ignore the mind it's public enemy number one <laughs> right it's the enemy the mind is the enemy if you're not using it for problem solving only then it becomes judgmental then it becomes uh, belligerent narcissistic even it can railroad everything you've ever wanted to do including your hopes dreams and aspirations and I don't want you to let it do that anymore it's time to put the mind in the corner I did this in my other video recently put <laughs> sorry cookie if this is my mind I'm gonna put it in the corner okay we don't need to use it unless we're thinking of wonderful stuff like this okay let's see what's going on with divine masculine now because I really wanted to get a message from him I know divine feminines longing for a message from him Wow he has got you on the brain and perhaps this mother issue that's been a theme coming up as well he may be having trouble with his own mother or he may be thinking of you as being the mother of his children uh, and also a mother kind of figure to him in a way in a nurturing way not you know not in, not in that weird way you know Tom go and put your socks on you're late for school not that kind of way but in a nurturing kind of way so if he wanted to lay down and have a break you know you would have your breast for him to lay upon you know in a romantic way not a mother way if you get what I mean okay so what his mother may not be giving him is what he is kind of yearning for in you if that makes sense <clears throat> wow I'm feeling my throat chakra hang on <coughs> Ooh. yeah throat chakra because there's arguments going on for divine masculine he's had to come unfortunately back into his ego to deal with either his mother or some other energies this might be at work this might be uh, related to friends remember we are going through mercury retrograde and although my advice is to just not even think about it 
sometimes exes come back sometimes weird people come into your life you know send your friend requests and stuff like that and you go oh yeah I could use a friend right now because it's been a little bit of a difficult time and then they turn out being really weird or really strange or really annoying he's still got this happy ever after on his mind though even though he's had some arguments with people or some barriers to cross is the words that are coming through barriers to cross wow he's still madly in love with you divine feminine despite what's going on many many divine masculines put compartmentalize I guess I want to say okay this is a very human thing to do is to compartmentalize the masculine energy has a place for work in that compartment you know if you could imagine all these little files in front of him that's for work we pull that file out we go to work and then we push it back in when we come home we bring this file out when we're dealing with our twin flame when we're talking to her and we're all loving and all of that then we push it back in then if our friend calls us we bring that file out and talk to our friend and then we push it back in we don't mix up all the files like divine feminine can you know i've done a video about this i believe in my <laughs> in my um it's either in my twin flame concepts or understanding men and women i'm pretty sure it's understanding men and women but you know if we could understand the divine masculine a little bit better we would realize that there are all these little compartments here you know like like a filing cabinet you could say and you know I'll show you here all right so all of these have a name so mum's in that filing cabinet Adam his friend is in that one then he has work then he has sport and then up here might be his twin flame right and down here if he's got another counterpart might be his wife right or his kids or his basketball game or whatever 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 and on and on it goes now divine feminine she has no compartments all right she has dots <laughs> I'm gonna say divine feminine joins the dots all right and she can join the dots of everything together <laughs> so there's mum there's her twin flame there's the job that she has to do in the morning that's her kids that's her hobbies <laughs> she can have a whole conversation about all 10,000 things <laughs> in one conversation so she can talk about her hobbies and her kids and her wife uh, and her wife well I guess if you're you know it depends what your orientation is you know what I mean her husband all of that stuff all in one breath you know when I went out last week to enjoy my hobby of bonsai making I had to drop my kid off Charlie before I went and saw my mother and then after that my twin flame called me and after that I went and had takeaway with my favorite girlfriend Brianna right <laughs> and then she'll go and then I made coffee uh, and it was the best Arabic coffee that I've ever had in my whole life and then she'll go on and on and on and on and on and she'll change I don't know she can chop and change from any subject <laughs> and I don't know why I'm bringing this up but someone needs to hear that today so look at the difference <laughs> divine masculine very logical divine feminine very emotional okay divine feminine feeling emotional a bit lonely perhaps missing her divine masculine if he's a little bit busy right now let's get some advice for divine feminine wow get some vitamin D literally the tarot is being so literal get some vitamin D and allow yourself 
to be true to yourself ground yourself in nature you know literally stop and smell the roses you know stop everything for a day if you have to just stop let the housework go for a day okay sit out in the sunshine enjoy the day when was the last time you did that how do we connect into our own soul we can do it together now we can close our eyes take a deep breath ready big deep breath from in between your legs up to the heart chakra let's do it now ready now blow all the BS out in out so it's in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five if you're feeling stressed do this for five minutes twice a day connect into your soul come back to you none of this stuff around you really matters you know when we're not alive anymore money isn't gonna matter right the love and experiences that we shared with other people in our lives is what's going to matter okay so if you're on a time stress thing with you know your work or your kids or your schedule or your whatever you want to call it just put that aside for a minute come back to who you are divine feminine that's the advice for you right now wow divine masculine is being asked to be very sensitive to the divine feminine right now who is in her mind space a little bit much overthinking 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 when's my twin flame coming in nothing's working for me you know it's kind of a little bit like not having a tantrum but similar to you know this is nothing ever you know this is divine feminine saying nothing's really working out for me you know my divine masculine's never coming in he doesn't do this you know it's all too far away he lives too far away our cultures are different you know he's married i'm married he's with someone else he doesn't like me anymore it's all this overthinking 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 stop the mind literally grab it and put it in the corner divine feminine go out into nature get some vitamin d eat healthy drink but you know drink lots of water ground yourself in nature even do some gardening or sometimes housework you know the type of housework that <laughs> that pissed off housework where you don't really want to do it but you just get your old clothes on and you just go and do it because you're pissed off right that's grounding do that because you'll be touching the dust and you'll be touching the water and you'll be getting flushed and you'll be sweating some of the stress out as you do that housework all right do that if you need divine masculine coming back to him again sorry we're kind of crossing over here but divine masculine needs to be really sensitive to divine feminine right now because she is likely to maybe lose her charlie <laughs> oh, am i allowed to say lose her shit <laughs> we've got the swearing bell on hand because she just wants to be touched and loved at the end of the day that's all we really truly want is to be loved right but she needs to come from a place of loving the self first how do you get love from your divine masculine you be love it sounds really way too simple but that's the truth how can you expect someone else to love you if you're pissed off how can you expect someone else to love you if you're pushing them away energetically and if you're in your mind space you're not in your heart space and your heart space resides near and with your soul so you know get those old clothes on do your housework sweat it out get rid of that toxic energy 
you know, because it's pushing your divine masculine away. And then you're going, well, where the F is he? Where the F is he? <laughs> he's not coming in, the bastard, right? But he's not a bastard at all. It's all you. It's all what you're doing. Um, you know, you are, if you're watching this video, you are the conscious. He is the subconscious. Check out my video that I made yesterday uh, for Fantastic Friday. <laughs> Divine Masculine. It's so beautiful. Just, you know, as a last thing here, he's going, you know, I'm willing to take a leap of faith. I feel it in the air. I feel like I want to come to her. But something's stopping me. <laughs> Divine Feminine's going, he's always working. He can never come in. He's getting all his stuff together. He's all happy and having a great gay old time. And I say gay meaning happy, right? He's all doing his thing. And it pisses her off a little bit. But the truth is, he's ready to come in. As soon as you change your vibration, see that? Woo! How quick did that happen? <laughs> this is upside down Gary. He's ready. Look, that could even be an engagement ring there, Divine Feminine. He's even willing to be your companion for the rest of your life. Go on an adventure with you. If you're pissed off, if you're jealous, if you're upset, if you're where the hell is my divine masculine, that is not the energy that's going to bring him in. The energy that's going to bring him in is of loving, nurturing, beautiful energy. Whether you know this or not, you're pushing him away when you come into this pissed off energy so do whatever you have to do to get it out you know do a workout maybe um <laughs> you know sing it out dance it out housework it out garden it out you know pull out all the weeds in your front garden if you've got a garden you know throw some ornaments away that you've been meaning to throw away because they're too annoying to dust every day or something Right? Get it out of your system, like a you know, in a workout, you get it out, you know, in the movies you see those people when they're pissed off and they're, you know, they're running <laughs> or they're I don't know, what are they doing? Running, listening to music while they're running, you know. I mean do you know, don't over exercise or anything like that. That's not what I'm telling people to do. You know, always go with what your body can handle. But housework's great because, you know, housework's so bloody annoying excuse my French but it is <laughs> I'm swearing again housework's so annoying that you kind of go yeah yeah let's do this washing you know take it out on the washing take it out on the the weeds in the garden pull them out you know take all that yuckiness out on not people <laughs> don't take it out on people and remember that, you know, even when you're feeling a little bit like this divine feminine, you know, you might have exes, <laughs> which I spoke about in my, my other video that's premier coming today, is, you know, all my exes are coming back from Texas. What the hell is that about? That's a whole Mercury retrograde little joke that I like to say, you know, when all your exes come back from Texas, may not be from Texas, wherever they come from. You know, astrologically, we should ignore all of this, but you sometimes can feel this angst inside or this anxiety or this build up. It's like a volcano going blah, 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 ready to bubble. And so it's really important that if you're feeling this way, don't take it out on your divine counterpart because it's really not their fault. Whatever's going on inside of you internally is going to show up on the outside. So if you're pissed off, energetically that's going to send pissed offness to your divine masculine and you're wondering why you know he's kind of going oh I'd like to come in but I just can't quite flip myself around and as soon as you flip yourself around 
get rid of all that BS that's going on internally with you divine feminine then you'll see your counterpart show up you know here's <laughs> one last one I'm not I'm not laughing because I know the twin flame journey is hard but I'm trying to bring a little bit of fun because look divine feminine going he used to come in and talk to me where is he damn it <laughs> and divine masculine going she's so beautiful I really want to contact her but maybe now's not the right time and she's going crazy going where is he I'm trying to manifest him you know she's like I'm trying to manifest him for goodness sake and he's <laughs> He's going, oh, maybe she's a little bit pissed off with me. <laughs> Can you see what's going on? Can you see? Okay, energy is everything. If you need to do my ascension package to come into union with yourself, it'll be the most gratifying thing you've ever done for you. You'll come into union with yourself. And then after that, I suggest you do my manifesting course, which will bring your twin flame to you. I've got many twin flames now in union because of doing these courses and it brings me great pleasure to be able to bring this to you all right so double trouble today two videos uploading this one and another one have fun with them and um <clears throat> oh I think divine masculine might be coming through and talking to you soon divine feminine because you're going to get rid of all that stuff that's in here boiling up bubbling up get rid of it and be the epitome the picture of love all right Mwah. I love you divine feminine you're so cheeky when you're mad it's very beautiful but I'm telling you don't need to be mad anymore or sad or lonely it's an illusion okay come back into your soul do the deep deep belly breathing dance like no one's watching okay <laughs> go into your garden like a mad woman I want all the mud all over your face by the time you're finished all right okay are we clear good Mwah. I love you very much if you need me I'm down below in the script description box okay bye bye <laughs>